trading cards. Though they're great to look at, collect, and even at some points, dare I say, trade, at the end of the day, cards are only as good as the game they're used to play in. Games get stale. Some card games focus on only allowing certain card pools to be played known as set rotation, whereas sets within a certain time span are no longer allowed while ushering new sets into the game in order to facilitate an ever-changing format. In Yu-Gi-Oh's case, they just place a card on their forbidden and limited list whenever one deck remains fruitful for too long, or a card's interaction with others released years ago usually ends up becoming too game-breaking or unfair. Despite new sets constantly releasing, and each card game doing something to force us to use those new cards, some players still find themselves in ruts. And that's why alternative formats exist. Focusing on Yu-Gi-Oh, we have the good old standard or advanced format, which is fittingly the default way to play the game. This is the most officially supported, where the card pool is every card ever released, and the forbidden and limited list directly impacts this format just as it is written. The second officially created but rarely supported format is traditional. The only difference between this and standard is the fact that any cards that are considered banned on the forbidden and limited list are instead playable at one copy per deck, otherwise known as good old limited status. This definitely adds to the power of decks increasing exponentially, but overall, I think traditional format is a lost cause. Cards are banned for a reason, and a lot of people complain about standard due to perceiving it as unfair or they dislike the fact that only certain decks and strategies can attain success. Because of the shared card pool and the introduction of some of the most powerful cards ever printed, traditional just makes these problems exponentially more obvious. Maybe your issue in Yu-Gi-Oh is that you just want more people to be involved with your duels. Well, you and your thruple are in luck because in early 2019, 3v3 duels were an official main event thing at YCS Atlanta. I kind of like this format because all it entails is three players sitting in the same position throughout a tournament playing other teams. The fields, life points, and cards aren't shared, but you are able to talk to your other teammates and ask for help with plays and maybe some life advice while you're at it. Tag duels are a more intimate way to play a game with more than two total participants. Each team of two shares life points and fields, but you both have separate decks and hands. Maybe the card pool is the thing that's got you down? If that's the case, there are many different formats that are mainly founded on a basis of limiting Yu-Gi-Oh's huge card catalog. Sealed and draft play are just fancy ways of saying you left your deck at home, let's try to pull some cards on the spot to make a deck. The main deck is minimum 20 cards instead during casual play, usually using battle packs all monsters are considered all types and attributes so that way you don't get too many dead cards and because you're using such a limited card pool from packs, there's no ban list in effect. Now that we talked about all the officially recognized Yu-Gi-Oh formats, let's talk about the good ones aka the formats made by fans. Still on the topic of card pool manipulation, there's a subgenre of Yu-Gi-Oh formats that are just in essence a snapshot in time. Usually named after the best or most memorable deck of the time frame, formats such as Necroz, Dragon Ruler, 2002, and most popular, Goat format are all examples of these. With a static card pool and ban list usually synced up to a specific point in time, these formats allow players to be able to continually use the same cards saving their wallets, as well as allowing them to understand and learn all of the cards in the format. Because of this, strategies can be streamlined and used much more efficiently, with endless possibilities for growth and innovation as more time is spent focusing on just certain card pools. Other cult fan-made formats take a more aggressive approach to changing up the game. In ARG's case, they made their own custom ban list, and in Trinity's case, they not only did the same but also changed rules, and to me the most interesting thing that they added was a deck building mechanic in which you could use a card off of their co- or semi-forbidden list in exchange for a 5 card increase from the minimum deck size of 30, basically trading consistency for a powerful card. There are also formats where card pools are almost to the point at which they are all hand-selected in order to foster a specific game environment the creators of these formats are striving to promote. 
such as the case with Nova and forged formats. Remember when I said we were done talking about the alternative formats that were officially supported by Konami themselves? Well, I just looked at this card in the light and realized I wasn't done. Speed duels are a form of Yu-Gi-Oh where Konami has actually handpicked cards to be legal in a specific format. Because of this, a ban list doesn't exist yet and oh yeah, they introduced things called skill cards, which are derived from their online mobile game Duel Links. The cards legal in speed duels can be determined by little watermark in the text box that says, quite fittingly, speed duel. These cards are legal in any other form of Yu-Gi-Oh where permitted, so at least this format allows Konami to reprint random old cards that may be in dire need. Master Rules, Duel Links, and probably a lot more formats can be spoken about, but I just thought this would be an interesting little overview of the different ways we can all play this wonderful game that we love and enjoy. I'm thinking of making more videos in the future, potentially seeing what other card games have to offer in terms of alternative formats and how they could be applied to Yu-Gi-Oh. Let me know your thoughts on what your format of choice is, let me know if you'd be interested in hearing about other card games, and make sure to subscribe. I'm JC Theater Yu-Gi-Oh! See ya!